and the government has been urged to intervene in the recent spike in the numbers of street families in the country. A community-based organization in Kisi County now says there is need to address the root causes of the vice with a view of protecting thousands of children currently living in the streets. In efforts to rehabilitate street families, a community-based organization in Kisi County has urged the government to put in place measures that will address the increasing numbers of street children. According to the group, the children face a myriad of challenges amid them the COVID-19 pandemic. Some of the problems that we see they face, uh, especially during this time of uh, quarantine period, is um, Besides the besides the lack of accommodation, besides lack of uh, food and the living atrocious lives in the streets, uh, they also face a bit of harassment from the policemen, especially because they don't have masks and they don't have the the the, the, the kits for COVID-19. Some of them are so much into drugs. Some of them are are scared to go back home because of the uh, the things that are happening back home. Some of them uh, are desiring to to go back to school, and some of them are musicians and artists. They are talented but because they don't have um, ways to go about it or somebody to just facilitate them on, on how to thrive. <laughs> Speaking in Kisi town during a mentorship program of street families, the group called on the national authority for the campaign against alcohol and drug abuse to adopt a multi-sectoral approach to the war against drug abuse. Yes, almost 80 percent of them they're actually uh, using drugs, they're using cocaine, they're using marijuana. And we really ask uh, the relevant bodies of the government, for example, NACADA, to really zero in on the street children and find out how they can actually support them because it's a key issue that is actually uh, uh, wiping out these this street children. <laughs> According to the National Population Census of 2018, the total number of street persons were 46,639 with the male gender accounting for 72.4% compared to that of the female of 27.6%. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Jackie Wambiru.